Hola. Hola. Sean bienvenidos a un nuevo video en el canal de YouTube de Mesa Gráfica y hoy les tenemos una entrevista a un verdadero animador de Disney. Así es chicos, tuvimos la oportunidad de compartir junto a Andrew Chesworth, un, un animador de los estudios Disney y que ha participado en películas de como Frozen, como Grandes Héroes y la próxima a estrenarse es Zootopia. Así que los invitamos a disfrutarla. Hello Chile, thank you for having me. Uh, it's wonderful to be here. Uh, I'm Andrew Chesworth, I'm an animator at Disney Animation and nice to meet you. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, uh, it's very high stakes, uh, lots of pressure, but you're surrounded by people who like the same things as you and want to create the same things as you. So you kind of feel like you're with your people a little bit. Like, oh, these are my people, these are people who enjoy the same things as me. And it's, it's huge. I mean, when I made uh, the Palm Spring short, I was working with some of my close friends from school. And it was a very small team, about 10 people, studio of about 15 people. And uh, being, going from that small environment to the very large, very historical Disney environment, is a, it was an overwhelming change. Every animator on the show will end up having a, an end product quota of about two minutes of the movie. Somewhere between one minute and two minutes is the average. And you'll usually animate more than what ends up in the movie, because scenes get changed, they get cut, there's redos. So you might do three or four minutes of work, but in the final film there will only be about two minutes. So the Frozen reel that you've seen and the Big Hero 6 reel, that's uh, the, the scenes that survive, the scenes that made it into the movie. And when we are cast the scenes, uh, the camera work is already figured out. The models for the characters are already built. So we kind of just jump in and we start articulating the digital puppets. So it's kind of just performing through the digital character. As much as possible. I mean, I, I'm a huge fan of live action film. I grew up, as much as I grew up watching Disney cartoons and uh, animated television shows, I grew up watching movies like Indiana Jones, Star Wars, The Godfather, the Coen Brothers films like Raising Arizona, uh, Fargo. Like, I just loved movies. I always loved movies. And I think I had strong opinions about performance and acting at a young age, like what worked for me or what didn't work for me. And I think you kind of um, intuit a lot of that. And that same sensibility comes out in your drawings or in your computer animation. Because sometimes we film video reference of ourselves acting out a scene and then we try and borrow information from that when we're animating. And other times we just can see it in our head or we act it out, we feel it, and then we put that into the character. So whether you're looking at it or feeling it and then putting it in, uh, it has to come from somewhere and that somewhere is usually a foundation of knowledge about communication, acting, and, and entertainment because there's more entertaining ways for a character to be sad. Like there's a way that it looks great and feels great and other ways where it looks strange and awkward and you want to find the version that looks, that feels good to watch. Zootopia, it features talking animals that walk on two legs similar to Disney's Robin Hood. Uh, Byron Howard, uh, who is uh, the film's first director before we brought on Rich Moore as a co-director, uh, was a huge fan of Robin Hood growing up and loves comedy and talking animal movies and he's got such charming drawings. And then Rich Moore, our co-director, comes from television, Futurama, The Simpsons, uh, as well as numerous other shows and he directed Wreck-It Ralph and he has amazing sense of comedy and, and dialogue and writing. He's very clever. And their two sensibilities together are making, it's a very smart movie, very clever. Like using the animals as a sort of fable for human society. They're taking ideas about people and the world a little further with the animals than they would if they were human characters. It's not a, a social commentary movie because Disney doesn't make message movies, but, but there's a, um, an element to it that it's a mirror of our own world in a way that's really charming, I think. Esperamos que les haya gustado el video. ¿Quieren ver material extra de la entrevista? Pueden entrar a mesagráfica.cl y encontrar un video exclusivo. Así 
Así es, amigos, los invitamos a revisar contenido de, que realizamos en el marco del Festival de Animación SIGRAF y donde compartimos un poco más también con los animadores invitados. Así que... Sí, los acompañamos al zoológico. Los acompañamos al zoológico, así que... Y también los invitamos a ver Zootopia en cines porque antes de la película se va a mostrar el cortometraje animado chileno Historia de un oso, que está nominado al Oscar Así que todo el apoyo para el estudio que lo hizo, Pan Robot, que está nominado al Oscar. Uh, Así que, hubo uh, Pan Robot. Eso. Cuéntenos qué les pareció la entrevista, chiquillos. Si la disfrutaron, escríbanos en la cajita de comentarios. Y si quieren ver más material con contenido exclusivo como este también, háganoslo saber. Y no se olviden de darnos un like, de suscribirse al canal de YouTube de Mesa Gráfica. Y nos estamos viendo en una próxima. Así que, saludos. Chao.